Okay guys, doing a, a video tonight on the broadheads for the slingshot rifles. There's two main types available at the moment for the, your slingshot rifles. That's these ones, the cheap nasty ones. Elastic band, just to keep the head from flaying open while in flight. That's all there is. So when it hits the target, the compression on the, the wound pushes off the rubber seal. This then opens up and hooks to bring back your prey, which is connected to your fishing line. They're not the best. They do the job. I don't like them. These are the ones that I go with for my slingshot rifles. Three part design, spinning flights for in the water to give it the stability, um, removable head. So the change will broad head. And with the, the uh, on the, the bodkin tip is pull out um, snares. The ones is piece the piece the body, you just have my dinner so I pick up in a bit. Piece the body, the teeth catch into the prey, is on your uh, fishing line, draw it back in. Now how to use it is very simple. Take your Slingshot rifle. Taking a hook that's there, you literally just hook it into your um, uh, do, do, uh, slingshot, slingshot archery power band. You bring it back then and lock it into your breech, if you like, on your slingshot rifle. These are custom power bands, the links will be below. These are ones that I uh, include myself. Now we're going to take you for a little walk around the kitchen. Now what I'm going to do is now, I'm going to set it up over here. I did do a shoot earlier, it didn't come out too well. And uh, right, so keep your hands away from the barb at all times. It is lethal. Is roughly 45 pound draw on a power band. So with your archery, it's more than enough for the bolt to go through your arm at this range. So once the bolt is locked into your breech, do not touch the trigger. So I'm gonna bring the camera in now so we have a better look on the door. Okay, where is it? It's down a bit. So I'm going to move back now, out of the way of uh, the recoil, back to the front of the living room. Watch the door. A Legas laser is activated. Right. I'll bring you in. That is more than enough. She landed in like this. That is more than enough to stop any prey. So if you're shooting from a river bank down into the water, which you will be, at a range of approximately Five yards about from the from the river bank maybe maybe ten yards it's more than enough to take out your prey now this is using single magnum power bands uh, 1.5 millimeter thick approximately one and a quarter inch wide in the head and a draw of about let's see what's the arm's length 34 inches 32, 34 inches. So if you so wish, you can use um, slightly longer George Sprav style power band. And really crank this up to about um, 65, 70 foot pounds. Um, 60, 70 foot pounds of draw. Probably about 25 foot pounds. Um, the projectile itself, I'll just pop, pop it on the scales now. On uh, zero. Okay. 
is 35 grams. So it's a decent lump of metal. Um, I said I, pr I prefer these over these and the results speak for themselves it's a it's a solid lump of steel on there eh? um if you're talking a conventional bullet is the tip of a nine millimeter and you've got the tip and all this behind it it's a substantial piece of metal flying at, at, at the tree uh diameters let's have a look Four millimeter shaft on the back, six millimeter central in the head, nine millimeter. So that is a nine millimeter tip. So you take the extra weight behind that. Um, and as with all hand drawn uh, weapons, the heavier the projectile, the more kinetic energy it retains on impact. And the lighter the projectile um, flies faster initially, but with wind resistance, it slows down. Same in the water. So the heavier the bolt you've got, once it's into the water, um, the more kinetic energy it, re it uh, retains and penetrates into the water at your fish um, with more force. Once it's through, the, the stop forces out the barbs, they'll hook your fish, reel them back in, and you're done. Links below as always to uh, my coffee, link above as well, and um, buy me a coffee. Um, to any of you guys who are interested, um, i got designs in the pipeline for a, a serious bug out tape down crossbow, not like any cheap Plastic ones are about, about the more pretending to be crossbows, they're more a gimmick of a toy. I want something which is more professional, squaddy proof. Um, got designs in a pipeline, I'm being 3D rendered at the moment. I just need funding to go into rapid prototyping. So anybody interested or can do rapid prototyping, give me a call. Um, leave an e uh, a, a link below. Uh, find me on eBay, links are, are there as well. And um, Get a message to me as we can talk about them um, prototyping. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, have fun. Enjoy.